Happy Pulse Thanksgiving, everybody. Y'all know who I am, Demonious X, if in case, just in case you cared to know. Well, the th holidays is in full swing, and, you know, I don't really don't give a fuck, because, I mean, the only person I have to spend it to is my wife, and right now she's out of her pain pills, thus she's sleeping, therefore I'm just all alone sitting here on my computer, pondering on what I can do to pass the time this evening. Uh, I already did my chair exercises tonight, but I may do another round just to make myself really tired so I can just go to sleep and just forget the fact that I have nothing really to do um, to occupy my mind and occupy my time. Well, Thanksgiving dinner actually went quite well this holiday season. I spent it with my friends down the street, as I already mentioned in my last video, and... You know, we just sat around and talked, and uh, a guy, uh, his name, I, I call him Pops, his name is Mike, but I call him Pops because he's like a dad figure to me, and <laughs> a better dad than my actual father is. My actual father is a shitbag, and so is my fucking mother, but them guys down the street, uh, we all had a good time, we were joking, talking, having fun, and... Um, Pop showed me a game that he liked called Airhawk in Airhawk 2, and uh, he couldn't beat past stage, I think it was 5 or 6, it's the one with the big tank. If any of you played that game, it's one of those games that you get from one of those websites and that you actually have to download and install on your machine, you know, little games and whatnot. Anyways, I, I like to play those little games once in a while, and it's actually kind of cool, and uh has that old school feel of like, I don't know, Twin Cobra, Twin Cobra 2, and uh, Tiger Heli, except the differences the graphics are in 3D, you know, looks like Dreamcast, and that's fine. I'm not a graphics whore like everyone else is on, on the internet, so if, if the game is fun, that's all that matters to me. Uh, case in point, I kept losing on this tank as well, but I eventually got past him. It took a while, uh, but I eventually got past him. <clears throat> and I apologize that my throat is a little uh, jumpy. I think I might be coming down with a little bit of a head cold because uh, we just experienced a blizzard down here in Oklahoma. So there's a lot of ice out there and I got trash to take out. Immense amounts of trash, cat litter and such. And this, sh I have to have it on my actual porch and, and wait for this shit to pass or to melt. Because I'm not going to go out there and slip and hit my head on the cement and die. I mean, some some of you may want that to happen, of course, because, you know, I'm well-hated everywhere I go, so, and I don't really care anymore. I mean, people are just going to hate whoever they want anyway, right? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, we had a good time, and, um, my friend Ellie, um, uh, we, I was talking with her and everything, well, and as you all know, my tablet broke, uh, my Nexus 7, and it would kind of upset me because... I like to play with it, like, sometimes at the doctor's office or, uh, you know, while, while you know, dropping a deuce or whatever the fuck, you know, play a little, you know, ward search and whatever. So I have that little phone, but I don't, I don't like the functionality of that thing, but I use it anyways, you know, just a phone without service, you know, I use the Google Hangouts for phone calls and whatnot. Uh, anyway... So the good thing, well the the other good thing that happened on Thanksgiving Day, was Ellie reached underneath her laptop and said, "Here you go." And I was like, "Huh? Well, <laughs> it's a Samsung Galaxy Tablet Three." It was her ex-husband's. He left it here. Uh, he lives in Hawaii now. Uh, well, he's from Hawaii originally, and just the marriage between them two didn't work out. A whole lot of problems transpired between them two. He has um, he had fetal alcohol syndrome, and that's all I'm gonna go with to that. Anyway, she had. She's like, I have no use for it. If you want it, it's yours. Take it. And I just was like, huh. <laughs> I was in, just in a state of shock, and I'm like, really? You're going to let, I'm like, I can have? <laughs> uh, I was, uh, I was actually quite, quite, uh, excited to hear that, you know, she was giving this to me. She gave me the charger and said, 
here you go. I hope you have fun with it. And, and I have. I've been using it for, um, last night I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos while passing out. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing to do with, the, with YouTube is before I go to sleep I like to watch some of my playlists and hope that, that I can relax myself to sleep because a lot of the times I lay in bed and think about things that I shouldn't. And, and that sometimes brings me in, into an insomniac spell, which I had uh, a couple weeks ago. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I had a, another one. Yeah, I did. Or I think I did. Because I was going to make a video called Insomniac, uh, um, ins like Insomniac Spell Episode 1 or something. Kind of like with this holiday blues kind of um, thing that I'm, I'm making here. Um... And I just could not sleep. I did everything you could think of. I was listening to YouTube videos. I took an I took some Ativan. Uh, I don't like to take the Xanax because I know that's far more addictive in nature than an Ativan is. And um, <coughs> arm hurts from doing curls with. But I use uh, one liter Sprite pop bottles for curls. For now, I'm gonna upgrade to the two and to the two liter because my wife drinks two liters she drinks a lot of soda and I just I try to drink as much water as I can I drink also tea uh, cold brew and red diamond the kind you have to boil good stuff I'm not really a fan of soda anymore now once in a while you know I'll have a one, one of these but mm. The aspartame that makes your fucks with your head, though, man. But yeah, I'm just sitting here by myself, and my you know, my cats are just they're sleeping, and they're sleeping with the misses, and um, and uh, I'm just letting her have her own space, and she's not feeling well, and um, she's pretty much out of her pain pills, and when she's out of her pain pills, she goes out of withdrawal, cause well. And her start. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna go into. To, let's just say that she was on pain management, and the fucker was lazy and put her on her shitload of opiates. And now she has to get weaned off those opiates because of the new reg regulations in place in the healthcare system. Yeah, it's been quite a ride for both of us. I mean, I feel bad. I really wish they could do something better for her, but there isn't. <sighs> but. It is what it is. My mother didn't call. I didn't inspect her to. I ain't gonna call her. I I will seriously never call her again. If she wants to make up with me, she's gonna have to call me. And do I feel bad about it? Actually, I've done a lot of thinking and soul searching. I don't feel bad about this anymore. It hurts that my own mother is pushing me just pushing me away. She does that though. With people who don't agree with her, she just pushes them away. I kind of I'm like that. I'm like that as well sometimes because uh, when my friends don't agree with me, sometimes I just push them away. I'm, or I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's just I don't know. It's the way my brain is wired, you know. Mother like son, son like father. Not, eh, yeah, but. They bo all all my family, my brother, my mother, and my father. They all have my phone number. They are more than welcome to call and talk to me. I'm always willing to set time set time aside to converse with them and and talk to them on what's important in their lives, and they can talk to me about what's important in mine. But they already let their opinion, except my brother, because my brother's a antisocial. I mean, he thought I was bad. <laughs> He's worse. He just he plays on Second Life and Warcraft Three, and does that all the time. Uh, at least that's the last last time I checked. That's what he was doing. And uh, I mean, if he's happy, if that makes him happy, by all means, I, I I wish him the best. But it's just ever since I moved down here, it's just he has no interest in talking to me, and that's fine. Eh, it hurts, but that's fine. And my mother, I, well, I guess I've gotten to that fight, and it hurts. I'm not gonna say it doesn't bother me sometimes, but I made peace with that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let it, you know, control me, because I know that's what she wants. She wants me to feel guilty. She wants me to feel angry. She wants me to feel uh, like I'm doing her wrong, and 
and this and that because that's how she gets off on that. See, my mother's the kind of person that it, it, she expects everybody around her that cares about her, quote unquote, to do everything and, and, and anything for her. And every time I called her beforehand, she'd always like, oh, no one helps me. No one cares about me. No one does this. No one does that. And I'm just, you know, I'm trying to sympathize and empathize. I'm like, yeah, mom, I know. And I'm sorry. I wish there was a way somebody down up there could help you and take care of you and give you what you need. But, you know, unfortunately, we don't, I don't know of anybody. Uh, you can try to get help from the state because there's state aides can uh, help people. Um, a couple of people that she knows, uh, there's that dude in Ohio, and then there's a dude, uh, that woman that lives up north. They got state aid, and I don't know why she can't do that. I tried to look up some information. I found a little bit of how she could get that started. I sent it to her. And she's like, I'll look into it and see what I can do. That's her response to saying, maybe I'll do something, but chances are I'm just going to just not, not even pursue it. It's like, okay, then why waste my time? You know, I care enough about you to get this information for you that you requested. And you're just going to be like, well, I'll look into it. I also sent her a packet of things because she was thinking about moving down here so I could look after her. Kind of like how my wife's mother lives across town. You know, my mother could live in that same complex that her mother lives in for the elderly and I can go over there and take care of her with the things she needs done. My wife wouldn't have a problem with that. She even said if your mom comes down here you can help her, and hell, I'll even jump in and help in and help her. So it's cool that, you know, my wife's got my back. That's how I married should be after all, right? But she, I gave her the information, and she's like, okay, uh, I'll look into it and see what it is. So basically, I, I just wanted to say, so, okay, so I, I sent you all this information. You're not even going to take it and use it. You're just going to be like, you're just going to tell me you're going to look into it. And it's like, why Why did I waste my time if you're just not going to use that information I gave you? I just said, okay, well, when you're ready, if you're ready or if if you decide to make, to make a decision on moving down here or not, just let me know. And of course, um, the last conversation we had, I know I've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again for those who haven't listened to those last videos and where I was explaining this. Basically, she wants me to drop all my responsibilities down here and go up there to take care of her. I am not going to do that because, first of all, why do I want to go back to a place where if I don't do something or do it in a way that she desires? just get threatened to get kicked out of there because that's what happened before I got married she was trying to pull that fucking card and I said well mom you can kick me out you go you go right ahead and do that because I'll be getting married in a couple weeks and she's like well you can go ahead and get out now I'm like bitch if I could I would I would fucking be gladly grab my shit I'd be gladly to leave you this fucking house I want to get away from you and that's what, what the beauty of moving down here was is getting away from her but then I walked into another problem. <laughs> Her mom. And, you know, I've already mentioned publicly at my deep and utterly disdained fecal mattered feelings towards her mother. She's getting better, though. She's understanding that I'm not going to go away because she was trying to get rid of me for a while. Uh, she wanted me to go away. Uh, she's been actually very nice to me. Um, she goes... She goes to food banks down here and and gets me rye bread because rye bread, for one, is healthier, and two, it's one of my favorite breads next to pumpernickel and wheat. Oh, and oat bread. Because I'm, I'm trying to get rid of all my whites. Uh, I'm trying to stop eating potatoes, mashed potatoes, because that's carbs, not needed. Uh, I'm just trying to stay away from corn. That's carbs, not needed. Uh, bad carbs, uh, in my opinion, because they give that shit to pigs, and then that fats them up, and then they slaughter them, and, you know, well, you got, I don't need to explain that to you. 
Um, if you don't know, look up a slaughterhouse uh, documentary on YouTube or something. Just an idea. <laughs> um, so, so Thanksgiving turned out to be better than I expected, but I have a feeling Christmas is going to be depressing for this year because, for one, Christmas. Ever since I moved down here, Christmas just hasn't been the same. Uh, I really would like to see my family, but that the way my family is is their feelings towards me or the their lack of care towards me. I mean communication everybody it works both ways you either communicate with that person or they communicate with you but what's the point of it having one being one-sided why should the person even bother to keep keep it going if the other person simply doesn't give a fuck when I call my father he doesn't even say much he just says sure yeah 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 yes sure one of the things I mentioned, I think, on plenty of vlogs, and if I haven't, I'm going to mention it now. I cannot stand one more answers. I just flippin' can't stand them. It's, it annoys me. You're a grown-ass adult. You, you should come up with your words, your sentences, and your paragraphs, etc. I don't like talking to people with one-word answers. That just annoys the living shit out of me. If I'm going to talk to you, I would like to have a somewhat of a meaningful conversation because that's the point of communication in the first place, to get information, and sometimes it's for enjoyment. My wife sure as hell likes to talk, and I don't understand what it is with women and talking, but sure, they can talk my ear off, and I... <laughs> Um, I will admit, Thanksgiving Day, I talked far too long. I'm the kind of guy who enjoys talking in small doses. I don't like to spend nine hours of my day talking to people, which is why I hated working in a call center. Uh, of course, along with the mental abuse, the threatens of being, the threat of termination, the bullying, etc., I hated working at the Xerox call center. And if anyone... If anyone listening to this video lives in Oklahoma, if you think about uh, putting your app there, because they hire all the time, because they fire all the time, stay away from there, please. Um, I mean, you may be a smooth talker. You you may get along with people on a you know easygoing basis, and you can probably handle people yelling in your ear. I can't handle that. I've tried. I would t put push the mute button, make sure no one was paying attention, and I'd be like, if I knew where you, if I if I was anywhere near you, cocksucker, I would fucking slit your throat and drink the blood from your fucking jugular vein. And I press the mute and be like, yes, sir, I understand your frustrations. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this taken care of for you, so you can get on with your evening. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck off. Hated it. But yeah, if you think about working there, don't just. Please don't. It's it's not worth your time and it's not worth your energy. But but if you like if you like it there, and you do work there and you're happy with it, great. Continue sucking the manager's cock or licking that herpes infested cooch or gunt or whatever the fuck you're sucking or licking off to enjoy your pleasant stay at Xerox because um, everyone I've known that's worked there be either before or after I was terminated hated that job. They just said it was the only easy part of it was is um, excuse me I forgot I was going to say the easy part of it was is the fact that they're not they weren't at when I was there they weren't too I guess stress. Uh, if you had to use the restroom, you were f they were fine with that, just as long as you weren't any more than ten minutes. The bathroom. They said the bathroom breaks was pretty lenient, and the breaks themselves were lenient. But to me, ten minutes for a break—that's just a cop out. I think breaks should be twenty minutes at a call center because you need a little bit of time to wind down. Otherwise, you're going to build up, you know, your blood pressure and have a stroke. No one needs that. But, yeah, don't just don't work there. Uh, I feel sorry for real t retail workers this time of year, too. And another thing I cannot stand about Christmas time is the fucking music. And the holiday specials, they depress me. Because, like I said, when you're a kid, the holidays are awesome because you get presents. Don't lie. You love receiving presents, even today. If you're still giving presents, I'm sure you're loving that shit. You're grateful for getting shit. See, I 
I can't buy presents for anybody, and I I'm, I only have maybe four people in my life. Actually, no, I'll take that back. Five, five people in my life to buy presents for. Problem is, is I don't have the income to do that. All I can do is offer my friendship and and love as a friend, and go with that. I, that's all I can give. If I had the money to buy the people in my life that matter to me a gift, I would be more than happy to. And if they give me something in return, that's always nice. I mean, come on, you, you, there is, I, I haven't met one motherfucker that would say to me, yeah, man, I just like giving gifts because it's all about giving, not receiving bull fucking shit. Everyone likes to receive a gift. There is not one motherfucker I've met in my life that didn't like receiving a gift in return of giving a gift. What makes me feel bad though is I have a couple I have a couple buddies online especially. They sometimes buy me games on Steam. Uh oh, well, I had two. I'm down to one. And he sometimes buys me games from Steam and I get mad at him for it a little bit. Not now I'm not like you cocksucker you know, or something like that. No. <laughs> I I'm just like, God damn it, cut man, don't I'm like, don't waste your money on me. Because I, I, I just don't like it when people spend money on me. I just, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I am horror horrific. I'm grateful. I mean, he, this guy has bought me Borderlands, Borderlands 2. Um, what else has he bought me? Let me go on my Steam real fast, if you don't mind. I know I'm. I should be down in the like have a depressive tone, but I am depressed. I, I am like right now. I am depressed, but I'm just trying to. Have a you know pretending I'm conversating with somebody that's a good friend of mine. It's pr I know it's a waste of time, but I guess in some way it's some sort of therapy. It kind of gets my mind off of things. I really wish I could ha I could smoke though, but you know, given the PAD I was diagnosed with, I I shouldn't. They said that <laughs> I am very likely to have a stroke if I were to have a smoke. So that's how bad it is. Uh, the art the peripherals, um, peripheral artery disease. I'm working on it, though. I mean, I, I know I keep saying that, but I am. I, it, there's, I am being 100% honest. I am working on it the best of my ability. And I hope I can keep going. I'm going to keep going until I drop. If I drop, you know, from this, it's, you know, at least I try. But I can tell you that my obesity, for the most part, is hereditary, because both of my parents are well, pretty big people. But I'm not using that as an excuse. I am trying to lose weight. And if I'd make it, you know, I, I like when I went to the doctor, I lost 20 pounds, you know. Hope, and I'm sure if I went to the doctor, I probably lost 10 more because I can move around. I'm not in much pain anymore, you know. So there is some benefits to doing the those chair and run, walk running exercises. But I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to give it up because it does make me feel a little better, but not entirely. You know, and there's all these people, oh, if you get skinny, you'll feel better about yourself. Fuck off. I, there's so many people I know that have lost weight. They were, like, my size. And, of course, their their thyroid is actually a pretty damn good working mechanism where they can lose weight easily. And me, and I have to work extra hard because of my stupid motherfucking metabolism. Because my fucking family who can fuck off the earth somewhere. <sighs> Anyways. Enough of health and obesity news aside. Alright. I ain't gonna mention this guy's name on camera, but I mention him awful lot in my videos. And he's been a good friend of mine for 21 plus years. Um, but he's bought me... Let's see. He's bought me Borderlands, Borderlands 2. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of FPS games, but... Uh, what I like about Borderlands is the gun count... The gun combat is really fun. What really makes me not like the game as much is it gets too involved like you have to like there's different kinds of weapons that do different kind of things to certain kind of enemies and to me that's just too much thinking i'm a pick up and play kind of guy and the other th one thing i don't like about this friend is he tries to get me to like games he likes he enjoys building things i don't it takes too much thinking i don't want to think when i'm playing a game i just want to get lost in it play it enjoy it beat it maybe, and if not, put it away, pick it up later, and try to complete it. That's all. Uh, but I do like Borderlands. I do. I just don't like that aspect of it. Let's see what else did he buy. Um, the other guy that I'm no longer friends with, because 
I already mentioned that, but we're not. I'm not going to get into him. He's still a piece of shit, and he's moving out on his own. And thank God, hopefully, I'll never have to hear from him again. But he has done some nice things for me. He bought me Gary's mod, which I'm very, I'm very happy with. Um, I just like fucking around. I mean, yeah, Gary's mod. You can build games. You can games. You can build things too. But what I like to do is just put a bunch of. Um, uh, Judith Mo Moss, I think, Mossman, or whatever her name is, like, m like, and, and I'll, like, play a scenario in my head, like, that's a feminist group, right? And then Demonius, the evil dark lord of, um, male chauvinism, comes with a nuclear bomb and blows them all up, <laughs> and then, you know, that kind of massages that, uh, that, 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 that part of my brain that just thinks sick thoughts, kind of like what happens when I did that Postal 2 video. But then Fire did a hilarious, um, in, um, I actually got, uh, someone downloaded it on the forum for me. They, <laughs> they actually, um, took that video that some of those sound clips from it and made it like, I, I did Columbine. It's called, uh, Demoni, Demo what is it called? I have it on my PC, let me, let me see if I can find it. Uh, Documonious X. Uh, it, it, it's hysterical, but uh, I guess you know people were too butthurt, just like they are with every other damn thing they are in the universe, and it got took down. But I got it on my hard drive, so if I want to laugh at some funny shit that was actually made quite well, um, I just watch that. And it makes me happy for a little bit. <laughs> um, Anyways, what else? Uh, Hammer Watch, which is a better game than that fucking reboot of Gauntlet we got earlier this year. That game fucking sucked cocks. Because he bought me Payday 2, which is okay. I like it better than Left 4 Dead 2, because Left 4 Dead 2 actually, in my opinion, fucking sucks. It's boring as shit. I don't understand the appeal. But uh, what I like about Payday 2 is, or Payday, the, is Robin Banks, and you actually have to use your head a little bit. It's a lot of fun. Like it. Um, what else? And oh, and Track Mania too. I like the Track Mania games. I used to play them on the Wii and the DS, and and uh, it's trying. To, it's fun just trying to get gold. You get pissed off, but at the same time, it's one of those games where you're just like, okay, just one more fucking time. <laughs> oh, and I also um my other ex my ex friend he bought me the Sega uh, Sega bundle pack they released last year for Christmas where you got Sonic Adventure, Sonic and All-Stars Ran Racing Transformed, um, Bass Fishing, Space Channel Part 2. I don't know why they put that on there because that's mostly for girl gamers, but you know what I mean. Okay, so, needless to say, I mean, he's, like I said, he's bought me some things and, I, and I'm really highly appreciative of that. It's just he it's just I feel bad because I and, and then I get mad at him because I'm like yo I can't buy you anything he's like no he's like you know it's like this guy you buy your you know I know I know if you had the money and you had the means you would buy me something that if that that I wanted if I didn't have the money I know you would do the same for me so I'm gonna do this for you because I could do it for you and that's a cool way of thinking. I wish there were more people like that in the world. But I'm not just saying, hey, feel sorry for me. Buy me games. Do it today. You'll feel better about yourself. No. I'm not a sympathy case. I don't ask for sympathy. I never have. And I probably more than likely never will. Because I just don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a grown fucking 33-year-old man. I don't need sympathy from anybody or anything. But if people want to offer their sympathy and empathy for my situation, I do appreciate that, and I do say thank you. But if you just wish nothing but hell and death for me, then hey, you're not alone. <laughs> There's probably plenty of people who want to see me six feet under the ground. And if depression can actually kill a human being uh, on its own wits, you know, you may get your wish. You know. It all depends on how it goes from here on out. I just wish... The good thing about the next month, though, is I can get some beer. 
And I am going to pound the living fuck out of those beers. Um, probably in either in their first or second week of December where it gets harder and harder. I'm also, my wife and I, uh, we're going to watch my favorite cartoon animated uh, Christmas specials of sorts like Frosty and Charlie Brown Christmas and the, the classic Claymation CG, whatever you want to call it, Rudolph, Red Nose Reindeer, those classics because that 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 puts a smile on my face. It it allows my mind to go back to a time in my life where I was actually pretty happy. I, when I was a kid, I was always stoked for Christmas. I was looking forward to what I was getting under that fucking tree, even though I knew what it was going to be because I asked for it. <laughs> and my parents would be the type of people who, if they couldn't afford what I wanted, they would come up to me and be like, Scott, we are sorry, but that, that what you want for Christmas is just too expensive for us to buy. Is there anything like it that you would like? Like, I wanted a Sega Master System because our Nintendo broke, and our Nintendo broke because of my dumbass. Uh, I put a sticker in the end of the cartridge hoping it would appear on the screen. It was a purple dinosaur sticker. Yeah, I know, I should be dragged out in the street and shot. But I made it up. I, I got two Nintendo NES control decks, and they work perfectly fine. So I made up for that. But I wanted a Sega Master System because I it was actually going down in price because it, the NES was taken over, and it was that was actually too expensive at the time. And my parents came up to me and were like, we're sorry, that's just too expensive. Is there anything like it that you would like to get? So I settled for an Atari 7800. Um, do I really need to explain it? I don't think I do. Uh, the, we all know the 7800 was more or less locked away and then re-released to compete with the NES, which was a dumb fucking move by Atari. It, it, the two companies to my... You know, when you look at what they did in their marketing strategy, the two companies is just make my head hurt. I mean, current days, of course, Nintendo, but I, you know, I'm not buying any console this generation or the next generation. Uh, I'm pretty much done with consoles. Um, and, you know, I doubt I'll ever have the money to upgrade my PC from its current state, so this is as good as it's going to get. And even then, if I can't buy any new games, that's or get any new games, that's okay. Uh, I got plenty of backs, old school shit here, backlog, that I've been currently working on. It's no big deal. I'm not like everyone else out there it has to get the newest game out. And, uh, my, my love towards the gaming world and, and from this point on is going to be... I don't care about Metal Gear. I don't care about fucking Fallout. Skyrim with guns, that's all it is. But that pop. So I got an Atari 7800 that year. I'm going to get way off topic. And I got a bunch of Atari 2600 games to go with the 7800. Plus, we, I, we had those games that we had from the Atari 2600 that we got in 1985. And because we had Atari 5200, and then the power supply on that caught fire when we, me and my father were having one of our marathon missile command uh, moments, or we would stay up to like three or four in the morning playing missile command. <laughs> uh, my father loved that game, so did excuse me, so did I. But the unfortunately, the cold hard fact is that. The controller was fine. It worked just fine. It, I, we never had a problem with the controller. It was the fucking power supply. It just caught fire. Yeah, and the system would... We couldn't find a replacement, so my dad just put the system in the garage, and we forgot about it from that point on. Then we got a 2600. It came in a little... It looked like a tool box, you know what I mean? Like a tool box made of cardboard. Um, look it up on Google if you want to see the pic what I'm talking about. Uh, it was cool, I guess. But yeah, we had those games from that system. That system still worked. But we had a 7800, and they just, I guess, found about a bunch of games on clearance. And because, well, I think the 7800 was done at the time, so that's why I caught it was so cheap. The reason why I wanted it was one game, 
It was the only system that I knew at that time, other than, you know, it came, then the NES version came out a little later, but it was the only system that I can recall um, Galaga being on. And I was a big, to this day, I still am a big fan of Galaga. But now I got it on the Namco Museum 50th Anniversary GameCube compilation. There's a Arcade Perfect port, and if I don't want to play that and want to play Arcade Perfect, I got MAME on here, so, you know, I got my bases covered. So, you know, I'm all set with all that. It's just... I miss that magical feeling, though. And when you're a kid, you take it for granted, because you're looking forward to the presents that you ask a Santa Claus for, and sometimes you get it, and some, sometimes you didn't, or you got something similar, etc. And then when you become an adult like me, you don't expect anything. I... The only th excuse me, sorry, I'm a little tired. Uh, the only thing I can recall, the last best Christmas I've had was the first time I moved down here, because I had a good job. Uh, I was working at the call center, obviously, and it paid good. It really did. Uh, it allowed me to get this awesome Asus or Asus Acer monitor. It helped me get this computer. So, you know. I was able to buy myself some Christmas gifts, and I bought my mom Chris. I bought my mom Christmas gifts. I bought my brother Christmas Chris gifts. My wife, she was thrilled with all the stuff I got her for Christmas, and then we had it was just great. We had we finally bought ourselves, or got ourselves some things that we've wanted. Also bought me a couple Paradise Lost CDs because that's my favorite band <laughs> of the uh, current day. Anyway, I bought a uh, let's see. Symbol of Life and the 2K5 album. Uh, I want to get Believe in Nothing next if I can. You know, I could pirate him, but it's not the same. Uh, so, that's really about it. I just miss that magic of holidays and Christmas and, the, you know, the. it's nice, you know, when you go for a little drive and there you see the Christmas lights, you know, you get just that little tiny incubancy pinch of happiness of that child, inner child that comes out for for just a little millisecond, because you know you see the lights and when you're a kid, Christmas lights put a smile on your face and you know just seeing the the patterns or just the way they're shaped. One of the things I couldn't stand is putting up Christmas lights in my when uh, my mom wanted Christmas lights up. It was just. I hated it because she wanted it in a way that was, it, it. You had to put it in a way that she wanted it, and if you didn't put it in the way she wanted, even if it's just a little fucked up, she'd just be like, "Take it down. I don't want it. It that that's, that doesn't look right." And it's like, "Well, why don't you come and show me? Show me what I did wrong," and she wouldn't. You see, that's the thing. That that's the fucking thing about my mother. I just cannot stand along with a million other things, was the simple fact that she would be like, um, like, like she would never show me how she wanted things done. She'd tell you what to do and expect you to do it. My mind just doesn't operate in that way. And hers doesn't either, so I don't understand why she expects her offspring to just automatically know how to do something if you were never te you'd never taught to some bitch. I don't know, guys. I just... I'm just so tired. I'm so, so, just so tired. I just sometimes wish I can just grab my couple of my animals and some things of mine just so I can go away for a couple of days. I mean, it's not my wife. It's just I just want time for myself to... to you, you know what I mean? Like how people go away for a couple days or for a couple weeks if they have a vacation from a job just to get away from life for you know a little bit you know I just don't I'm tired of always being worried about something or something always bothering me I just I want to get rid of it and I can't I mean sure I could take like I don't know a benzo so I could be the yee wee fun times and then but why, why would I want it I don't want to be addicted to something. I mean, it's bad enough. 
You know, that I drink alcohol every fucking month. But it's the only thing that seems to help. You know, you got meth heads down here, and I'm not in, in any... I don't have any interest doing meth, amphetamines, crystal meth, whatever the fuck. Whatever it's called. Have no desire. <sighs> so, I don't know. If I could have something for Christmas, honestly, this year, if I have anything, I would really love a membership to a gym down here so that I can, whenever I feel like this, I can just go to the gym and just pump iron. But, unfortunately, I don't have the money, and I know my parents ain't going to buy me anything. So, I doubt, I mean, not, you know, I don't believe in Christmas miracles. <sighs> Also, if I could, there's a lot of things I want, and it's just, money is too much of an issue, and I don't have the money, I don't have, I don't know, it's just, now that'll be a video for another time, it's about this computer, uh, there's so many things wrong with it. I'm just keeping it going enough to run so I can be be on a computer. But there's so many things wrong with it. I wish I could replace this computer. I really wish I could. That would be fucking fabulous. But I don't have the money. My wife and I, are, we want we want to get different hardware. Because, you know, the computers always change all the time. And I, I mean, I love this machine. This machine and I, this is like my second wife. You know, next to the the eight bit NES, but you know, it's just uh, it's a okay. Fuck it, it's a Pegatron. The motherboard is a piece of shit Pegatron. This was an HP computer. It's an HP Pavilion. Uh, it came with a stupid lazy eye. It came with a sorry, my mind just went. Because that's what happens. It, it came with a, a, a Athlon to X2. I'm an AMD guy. I hate Pentium. I hate Intel. They can go fuck off. I don't care. People are going to argue with me all day and why Pentium's better. I don't agree, so piss off. Uh, I, I've always been AMD, and I always will be, so eat a dick. Anyway, that aside. <laughs> it's a, it came with an X2, uh, Athlon to X2. It was, it's a really nice um, processor, but then... I upgraded to a uh, Phenom 2 X4, a, a black edition. I got it off Amazon for a good price, like 30 bucks. It was really cheap. And then I got a, um, I think I mentioned a 6870 Radon HD, 2 gigs, 2 gigs of the uh, GDDR5. And I got a... Um, I had to upgrade the power supply. This one was actually dirt cheap. It's a Senti, Senti, 700 watts. Because the other one I had was a 550. It wasn't enough to help. Do, do. So I actually, um, one of Michelle's friends, um, he said he had a 700 that he never used <laughs> in a box. And he's like, I'll just send it to your husband. He can use it. And I'm like, hey, man, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, and the thing with the the tablet that I got, that I'm really happy with, I'm still, I'm very, I'm very happy with that. Uh, I, f I helped fix her computer. She had faulty video drivers. She had a Lenovo, uh, AMD case, uh, not K6, because that would be like old as shit. Uh, V6 something six. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not really knowledgeable right now. Every time she would jump on Facebook or sometimes on YouTube, the video would just the videos and and like the feed would multiply and duplicate. And the first thing I said was maybe it's a faulty video driver or a faulty video card on the board. And I'm thinking, well, it's brand new, and she took it to the shop, and they obviously didn't sense anything was wrong with it hardware-wise. So I'm like, it's got to be software related. So I updated the new drivers that were updated on the 24th. Speaking of which, after this video's done, after I'm done yapping my fucking lips, I gotta download the new video drivers. I try to keep my drivers up to date. Anyway, 
I, I updated them and I used it for four hours. Her, her brand new laptop I used for four flipping hours. And nothing happened. No duplications of the scroll feed. Uh, the video videos ran perfectly silky smooth and fine. The scrolling worked great. Everything was working fantastic. So I gave it to her and I said, all right, go ahead and test your computer. I'll be here and if something goes wrong with it, we'll, we'll fix it. She used it for hours, a couple hours, and she's like, hey, thank you. It's working great. It's working like it should. And I'm like, yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad I could help. So I did my good deed for the day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry that every, that this video was just a lot of just mostly just mumbling but I don't like this time of year. It depresses the shit out of me. I just wish I had, you know, some money in some ways and, you know, just to bring that Christmas cheer back. But I, I think I'm just too old. I'm 33. I feel like I'm 53. I feel old. I feel old. I feel like I'm, I'm very cynical. I know that. I'm very bitter. The, this world has not been too kind to me. Uh, I've been dealt a bad hand. Sure, people are better or worse off, and my heart goes to them, and I sincerely hope they find a way to get out of that rut wherever they are. You know, so I'm, I don't take that for granted. I'm very happy that I'm in a place where I don't have to deal with any of that drama from home anymore. And I'm actually, part of me is glad that I'm not talking to my mother anymore because I think she was just a instrument to bring me down. I mean, she's always going to be my mom. I know you're, you're only giving one mother, but when your mother doesn't give two dams about you unless you do something for her, then it's not worth the time. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the energy. And obviously, we as people have better things to do. I mean, I understand a lot of people have more respect for their mother than I do currently. But if you understood the situation, if you lived the situation, you would, I think you would understand and side with me on it, but, I don't know. I, I do want to say I am sorry for not posting a video on Thanksgiving. I was really busy, and I was helping my friends down the street out, and then I spent some quality time with the wife, and, and I was actually a little sick yesterday. I threw up a little bit because let's just, let's just say something didn't agree with me. I, I don't know what it was. Because Mo mostly before you know Thanksgiving, all I ate was all I've been eating is brown rice and black beans. And when you eat something that's not that after a week of you know, if if you wait like a week and of the, and you just eat nothing but you know, that, and then you eat something else, sometimes you just get kind of sick. I, I, I'm pretty sure some of you have been down that road before. Vegetarians, mostly. You go without eating meat for so long, and then you finally eat a piece of meat, and you're like, <laughs> you know, it kind of like that. So, but, yeah, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to, I can't wait till this shit outside melts, because then I can go back running, and get rid of all this extra shit that I, I I know I gained some weight from this Thanksgiving but I'm going to do my very best to you know get rid of it a lot of people can't but I'm going to I'm going to do my best and c keep drinking the water and and keep doing some form of exercise on a daily basis I do take breaks here and there cuz sometimes I hurt you know I'm only human but whatever anyways I'm going to shut up I this has gone a little bit far too long. I just wanted to go ahead and make this video because I promised. And I know sometimes I repeat myself and I apologize for that too. I just hope you enjoyed this for what it was worth. And I hope I'm going to hopefully make maybe two more in these series of holiday depression and frustration. And also, you know, a vlog as well because I know you guys like that. But. I don't know, it's, this is just my full form of therapy, and unfortunately, on December 15th, I gotta see a therapist, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. As I said, I apologize for the lazy eye, I know that's, some people think it's funny though, but whatever. I hate it, and I hate my mother for giving it to me. 
And so I want to say once again, if you're if you're if your family is close and you're enjoying your time together, don't take it for granted. Y'all end up like me. I mean, if you need a shining example of what your life could be like, miserable, cynical, cranky, and just overall hating, <laughs> hating being part of this world, just look at me. And you can be like, you know what? At least I'm not that fat fuck. And now that I'm not that fat fuck, uh, I, you know, things are already better. So hopefully you can take my advice from that. In, in that regards, and be happy with what you do have, because, like I said, at any given moment, it can be taken away from you, and then you can just sit here like me, and get all sulky and depressed, and have it beat you down with all these thoughts of what times used to be, <laughs> and, and I don't want any of that, I don't want anyone feel like that because it's depressing. <sighs> I wish I had a beer. I'm, I'm like depressed as fuck now. Just thinking about. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this shit. Uh, but eh, whoever watches, great. If not, I don't really give a fuck. I, I really don't. I make these for myself just to let them out. And uh, of course, I share them with you guys. And if you want to watch them, that's cool. If you don't, you don't have to. I don't really care. I really don't. Anyways, guys, have a great night. Take good care of yourselves. Um, I'll try to make two more videos before December is over. Um, maybe I can do one drunk or something. I don't know. I know people like that, too. But I don't like to talk to people when I'm drunk, to be honest. I just like to listen to fucking depressive metal and, and just sulk in my own self-loathing. <laughs> Anyways, take care, you guys. You know, like I said, don't take this shit for granted. If you're depressed, just look at me, and hopefully, and then just, just realize you're not that guy. And that should make your life a whole lot better. This is Demonious X signing off. You guys have a good one.